Hello everybody, Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we're going to look at a new launched feature in the Unity game engine called Interactive Tutorials. Now this one is not earth shattering by any means, but it is a nice new feature. Now in order to get it though, you need to be running either 27, Unity 2017.2 beta or if you're watching this at some point in the future, Unity 2017.2 or later. Now another nice thing about the 2017.2 release is they also added social sign-in. For example, you can now sign into uh, Unity using uh, Gmail, for example, instead of your Unity account, which is a nice change. Anyways, back to interactive tutorials. Uh, it's a pretty simple feature. You know, it's not going to be earth shattering by any means, but this gives you the ability to kind of learn the initials of Unity in Unity in a guided manner. And getting to it is very simple. Once you've downloaded, again, 2017.2 or later, um, the Learn tab has been changed somewhat. So you go over to Learn here in your launch panel, and you'll see now you've got these... Um, four different uh, tutorials and they say they're going to add more in the future uh, but basically you could just kind of come in and go okay start or download so these two I've already grabbed these ones I need grabbing them is pretty simple you press download and they come down pretty quick right here now one thing I did encounter early on is a bug that when this got to the end it never gave me a new button Let's see if it does it this time no that time it worked if that occurs simply just switch off the tab and come on back in and we've got various other tutorials, the normal standard tutorial size, but these are like guided again. So we're going to come back in, and then now that it's downloaded, we're going to see the simple, the easiest one is plan edit. So you, you click start, and what it's going to do is fire up Unity, and it's going to be Unity in kind of a guided mode. Um, and the nice thing about this way of learning is uh, pretty much doing something physically. You know, just reading off a tutorial doesn't really help you that much, but actually following step by step to the tutorial, you develop muscle memory. It is a great way of learning things. So you're actually going to physically do each step. Now, again, this isn't going to be the most amazing tutorial you've ever seen. It's a very simple concept. We're going to be able to go through it in about two minutes, but you're going to get the idea behind what they're going to be offering here. And they get more and more sophisticated as you go further down. Uh, so this is basically just an introduction to the Unity environment and how to play an environment. So you see they've created a game for you. Um, you can go ahead and play around with all the assets that they've got here. Uh, but you can see up here they've got this basically um, instruction here uh, saying what to go ahead and do. So in this tutorial we will learn how to test our game. Press start. Uh, highlighted window is called the tutorial window which is what we're here right now. Instructions information will appear here. Um, home button, blah blah blah. Click next. And then it was saying basically here is the scene view, click next, here's the game view, click next. Now go ahead and how do you enter play mode and you can see that it's highlighted the, um, the play icon up here so we go ahead and click it. And then the tutorial moves on to its next part so now you can see that we're actually in the game which is playing. So this is the example that they're using which is actually pretty solid. And then there I finished it, it's detected that, it's moved on to the next stage. So now I need to exit the play mode, so I just hit the play button again, so you can see it's highlighted. And then there, and next. Uh, and basically that's it, that is the tutorial it's walking you through. So basically it's just showing you what the different windows are, how to go ahead and hit play mode, and kind of that's it. But if you are brand new to Unity and you know, you're know you reading this in text, that might have taken you 20 or 30 pages of text to actually figure out what how you know how to navigate through these. This is a very guided way of doing things. Is it better than just watching a video tutorial? I don't know. It depends on how you lead, how you um, learn. But definitely, again, that muscle memory cannot be underrated. So actually doing these tutorials directly in the engine, it's a cool way of doing things. Um, so it'd be interesting to see how many more of these we get uh, and how, how good they become. So you can see the next one up is introducing game objects and components. Uh, it's going to be much larger. Let's see if uh, it loads quickly enough. Uh, let's yeah, forget that. Let's see how many steps this next one is. So they are going to get more sophisticated as you go through, but there's only like, again, right now, the four of them. All right, so you can see the next one. So the first one was seven steps. This one is now 16. And you see in this tutorial, we will learn about game objects and components and use our knowledge to fix a problem in another level of our game. So instead of making you actually do a game all the way from scratch, too, what you're basically doing is fixing problems or little pieces in existing games. 
it's an interesting approach to the learning. I'm, you know, it, there's not a lot of value to me because I've already gone through this learning curve. Uh, but I do see definitely where this could be useful for people in the future. Uh, so again, not an earth shattering new change, but one I thought I would share with you. Uh, so that is interactive tutorials. They're available in Unity 2017.2 beta. Uh, I'll, I'll leave the download link below. Uh, so I will link to this page right here. Uh, so you, again, you need to get one of the newer versions, but you probably want to do that anyways, because like I said, there's now social sign in as well. And God, I hate having to have 18 million different logins. So I'm happy about that one. Uh, let me know what you think. Is this a better way for learning? Is it a worse way for learning? Or are you just completely indifferent? Let me know down below. And like I said, the link will be down in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, please do, of course, click like and subscribe and all that stuff. And I will see you all later. All right. Goodbye.